Tony Lacantro and I'm at the Low Emission Minerals Conference here in Perth and I'm joined today by Mr Jeff Ward who's the newly appointed CEO of Hazer Group Limited. G'day Jeff. Hey Tony. I think Hazer is a bit of a unique situation on the ASX in terms of low emissions. Could you tell us a bit about the company? Sure. So the Hazer technology is a innovative and disruptive catalytic process technology for making hydrogen and synthetic graphite low emissions and low cost. Um, I think it's a unique proposition on the ASX and also a globally unique technology because it's an example of producing a high quality uh, hydrogen product and a perfectly uh, applicable, usable synthetic graphite product. So rather than producing an emission, as most hydrogen processes do, we produce a valuable byproduct, and it's an example of 100% perfect carbon capture and utilisation. Can you tell us where the production comes from? What do you use as your main raw ingredient? Well, the main, the main raw ingredient is methane gas, and that can originate from biogas or from gas that's come out of a normal gas field and gas distribution system. If we use biogas as our raw gas, then we're actually a carbon negative process. We actually capture a really material number of tonnes of, of CO2 for every tonne of hydrogen we produce. The technology came out of the University of Western Australia, so it's a homegrown technology here in Perth, and it's a great example of innovation going through to development. There has been some press about the move towards hydrogen cars. Do you think Hazer can capture? Well, hydrogen is a very large global existing market. Hydrogen is used in industrial gases, uh, in medical applications. It's used in the manufacture of methane, um, methanol, sorry, ammonium, ammonium nitrate, and is used in petroleum refining. So hydrogen already is a $150 billion global market. There's estimates by groups such as Morgan Stanley who think that the market could be as much as 2.5 trillion by 2050 with this transition to hydrogen mobility. So hydrogen cars, buses, trains, all of which you know, currently exist and are becoming more widespread are one of the great future growth markets. But there's already an enormous existing market we can try and penetrate. I know you've in the, only been in the chair for about a month. Now what would investors look for as a main catalyst, uh, no pun intended? Excellent pun. Um, for me, in joining the company, what's attracted me to the company is I think three broad things. Now, one, I think it's the right technology at the right time. You know, as you've indicated, there's enormous genuine and, and sustainable global interest in hydrogen. We're seeing a big push from countries like Japan, Korea, the EU and, um, and the USA for interest in hydrogen mobility. Um, that's coupled with the trend towards more sustainable uh, large-scale industrial processes. And that says that this is the right technology at the right time to me. Um, the second thing I see is that the team has had a very strong series of operational results over the last six months. We completed our last pilot plant runs in Sydney uh, last week, and that pilot plant is now being dismantled and moved to be relocated at Quinana, along with the mineral resources pilot plant that's also being built. They're our major strategic partner. So we've got a great platform of technical results to drive us into next year. Um, the third thing is that you know, we're slightly different here in a mining conference is that we're a manufacturing process, not a mining process. So our next steps can be done at much lower cost than you might anticipate for developing a graphite mine or a gas field. You know, we're a manufacturing process. You know, I create my graphite and my hydrogen in a reactor connected by pipes in a shed in an industrial zone. So we don't have to have a lot of the associated costs you may anticipate with producing those types of products. So I think it is the right technology at the right time. We've got a great platform to accelerate into commercial development and we can do a lot with not very much with my shorthand. Your specific questions about milestones is that I see the next stage of the company is to secure a commercial demonstration plant, a revenue producing plant with a hydrogen offtake that allows us to also demonstrate markets for the graphite and the scaling up of our technology. And I would hope to have material news about that in the first half of next year. Okay, look forward to it. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Thanks very much, Tony. Pleasure.